door for another adventure today. Tam, where have you taken me? Well, I just want to do something special with you today. And we're going down there? Yep. Is that banjos I hear? I don't hear any banjos. Come on. Well, here we are at a secret location in Kentucky that we can't tell you about, and I'm going to fulfill a lifelong dream of fly fishing. And with us today, we have Bill Carmen, and he is going to teach us a few things about fly fishing. Bill, well, tell everybody about your business. It's good to be here. You know, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. That's right. <laughs> so I'm a fly fishing guide. Uh, I have a little outfit called Kentucky Wild, and I'm it. I'm the whole outfit. <laughs> so I guide fly anglers, and I do fly fishing workshops. So what we're going to do today is this is one of my favorite little smallmouth streams. Nice. And uh, we have a bunch of great smallmouth streams in Kentucky. It's our best kept secret. We have a bunch of good trout streams too, but we'll talk about some of the basics of fly fishing today. Well, I love this. I mean, kind of love this because Tamara got me on the outdoors and I'm not usually the one to get in the outdoors to this degree, but I love yeah. this because you brought all the equipment for us, which you do right? yeah. for That's people correct. who come. So we didn't have to prepare that much. Although you already told me that my pink shirt is going to scare off the fish. Yeah, it's not quite as <laughs> subdued as I would have recommended. But that's so okay. note to self for next time. I'm, my glasses are getting yeah. steamed up yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> but what kind of fish could we expect to get out in Kentucky? Well, this this is a native fishery and we'll hopefully we can see some smallmouth. There are a lot of rock bass in here and then of course your typical sunfish and bluegill and that sort of thing. All right. And so, what's it what is fly fishing for people who may not be okay. familiar? Fly fishing is obviously using a fly rod to cast a fly to catch fish. With a typical spinning rod or bait casting rod, it's the weight of the the bait, the lure or the plug or the whatever bait you're using that pulls the line off of the reel. But with a fly rod, you're not, that the weight of the, the lure is insignificant. It's the line and the action of the rod that propels the fly out there. So uh, who's better at, at fishing, Bill? Is it women or men? <laughs> I told you not to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I'm guiding beginners, typically the women do better. That's well, right. here's the better question. Who's going to be better at fly fishing? Well, we'll see. Tam or Lee? <laughs> we'll see. Ooh. You know, the, the great fly fishing writer, John Gearock, once said that we shouldn't count success by body count, but by the poetry of it. Oh. So that's what we hope to achieve today is a little bit of poetry. Well, Let's then I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm going to win for sure. <laughs> Just watch the whole process. Watch me do it. Okay. okay. Why do you do it so many times? You want to get the line out, and every time I go forward, I'm letting more line. Oh, you're letting more line out. My hand. Okay. So that takes a lot false of coordination. Casting. Yeah. False casting. If you ever watch a river runs through it, this is the Presbyterian method of fly casting. <laughs> the false casts are between ten and two. It swells straight up. You don't want to go way back here like that. Now, the other important thing is, watch how I pause at two o'clock. See, I'm pausing at two. Mm -hmm. You got to pause at two o'clock, okay? Have at it. So when you go forward, I didn't pause. Open, your, open your left hand when you go forward. Okay. So do it more than once. If yeah. You got to get rid of all that line that's in your hand. Between 10. All right, Lee, you can put a shot. Well, I'm a little baffled still. Hold on. So 10, 10. Boy, we might be here all night, Bill. <laughs> That's cool. I'd rather be here than anywhere else. There's a guy named, uh, anyway, he was a Supreme Court Justice, and he wrote a poem called The Testament of a Fisherman. Uh-huh. And the last line is, in the hope that one will find a mermaid. Aww. And I found two. Aww, look at you. Magical. Okay. You might be calling me something else here soon. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm hooked on something. I got a fish. No, nah, she's hooked on a rock. Oh. Rocks don't cook up real well. <laughs> you, you thought I had my you cooking. You have to slow cook them a long time. It would have been good, Bill, if you had planted some fish here for us to catch. <laughs> I feel like I'm really starting to get the hang of it. Well, that was terrible. See, the one uh, key characteristic of a guide is patience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, giving her a hey, utensil. Hey, Pam, I'm not outdoorsy. Yes, you are. You just caught a fish. Oh, that poor little guy. He's fine. Okay.